Hey all, welcome back. So in this particular video, we will be looking at how to submit our MAD lab assignment. And I made this video because I am seeing that a lot of people are struggling with that. So I will be also giving you some pointers. So let's begin today's video. So I have created a GF folder and within that I have created all the files. So I have five files, academic, contact, index and personal. These are HTML files and index file is the main file that will link all these files. I also have two images in my root folder so that it can be linked easily and a resume that can also be linked easily. So this is the base thing that you have to first of all verify that you have all these files. Okay. Next is you have to follow the specific instructions. So if I open this particular page and let me zoom in a little bit, you can see that each page should have a header section, a main section and a footer section. The content of all the pages for the body section will be what they will give. But for the footer, you can use whatever you want but it should adhere to the structure that they have given okay also there are restrictions regarding tags so for example in your home tab you have to make sure that you have used only three div tags not more than that or less than that if you do that it will cause an error for academic space you can see that you have to use 12 td tag okay so make sure that you specifically adhere to that in case you are having some issue on understanding what you have to do you can refer to page specific instructions and follow along now one thing here I want to mention is that if you click on this particular link you will be taken to this particular link rather than the original which was given here so this is because domain name has changed so what you can do is you can just click on this and copy the link and once you copy that link you can just use it for your use case and if you are not sure how your page should look like you can follow this specific format which is given here again the data can be changed but image and the format should remain the same okay now these are some of the basic stuffs that you have to do while you are doing your assignment but now let's look at what are the common issues that might arise while grading so i will be just simply going to show more options and open with code this will open my visual studio code which is an id that i use often okay now in index.html let's say i am not sure how many div tag i have used so you can just copy it press ctrl f and you can say fine you can see that we have three div tag so that means yes, we are good to go. Now we can move on to our academics page and make sure that we have 12 TD tag, right? So I'll write TD and it says 24. And it is because it is taking both the TD, right? So you have to specifically use the backslash to make sure that you have your ending TD tag. And this is because TD will be in both the cases, right? So exact match either you can set or you can use the slash TD. So once you have done that, you are good to go. So similar way, you can check for each of one if you are having some kind of issue. The second problem that I see people are facing is mostly in personal.html. So just check whether you are using image tag or not and your href spelling is href or href. Also, how many a tags are you using in this? Okay, so it says personal and we should have five a tags, right? So let's check if I have five a tags or not. You can see that I have five a tags. So at the last, you have to use use this a tag and you have to make sure that you are using this particular link not the link that i showed you earlier after that if you go here to your resume.html in resume make sure that you have this href don't add any extra attribute it might cause an issue similarly for contact.html make sure that you follow the standard which is given in the pdf itself and that's why i use this pdf as side by side view now if i again go to my personal make sure that your images should be on a separate line and there should be two br tags with this and the reason that we are having this is because if you see here after images we have a small gap and that gap will be given by two br tags okay so we have created our file and now it's time to see how we can submit our commission okay so first of all close the entire vs code head to your folder and select all those files which are required so these are the files that are required don't include this week 2 lhtml it is just for reference okay right click and press compress the file roll number dot gif so i've already created file let me find that and then we will head to our portal and submit it right away so guys here is my file so if you go this is the portal and you can click on lab assignment 
click on this live assignment. I've already submitted. I'm resubmitting again. And here are the instructions to load files. It simply says that you have to create the HTML file, select all them and compress to the zip folder and it should be named as roll number.zip. So that's what we have done. Okay. Now click on choose file and just load it. Once you do that, click on this test run and make sure dot zip should be the extension. It should not be in your file name. Once you have done this, make sure that your all the test cases here are passing. None of them are failing and for that you have this score 100 by 100. If some test case fails, it says fails. So as you can see, we have successfully submitted. Now all you have to do is click on submit and wait. So as you can see, there is submission successful. You can submit any number of times till this due date. It's up to you how many times you want. That's it for this particular video guys. Make sure that you share this video with others so that others can also get helped and subscribe to the channel because more videos are coming really soon. So I will meet you in another video. Till then, bye-bye.